hi guys welcome to my channel so in uh, today's tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to create a custom dashboard uh, in open search so by using this custom dashboard what we can do is we can analyze and visualize our logs that we are streaming to our open source cluster so so let's jump to the screen and see how we can do it so let's go to the left side panel over here click on discover So it will take some time to load okay so the logs is loaded so guys over here you can see i have already added the columns over here in the logs uh, that has been discovered so what i'm going to do is over here is uh, you can see right now the only difference within this log is the eni that is a log stream name so over here the, above you can see the eni was let me try to search for different eni Okay, so let me do one thing. I will just, I will uh, create two new searches over here. Okay, and why I'm going to create these two new searches over here, these two new searches will help us uh, to be, will help us so that we can pick that and we can add to these searches to our dashboard. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take, uh, add filter to one log stream so if i go to the log stream over here and if i click on plus you can see a filter is added okay now it will only show me the logs which are with this filter you can see it is loading right now as soon as it is completed it will be yellow so see now it is only going to sh uh, show me logs with this log stream so let me just edit this filter okay so edit query dsl so this is my filter okay so i have just copied this why i have copied this i will show you okay. so i have copied this the reason for that is now i will take you to my cloudwatch log group in log group okay okay so right now, if you see, we are having 740 iPhone all. This is the one that we were able to view. Okay. Now, instead of using 740, I will just add one more. And for that, I'm going to choose this one. Okay. So guys, what I'm going to do is now, I will just go ahead and add a search over here. So as I have sorted this by using the ENI name, I will just go ahead and click on save. And the search name would be search one. Save. Now search one is saved. Now what I will do, I will just go ahead and remove this filter. Now I will click on add filter. When I click on add filter, so edit query DSL and I will go back to my notepad. So over here I will add another log stream. So another log stream would be this. Save. Yes. No refresh. Okay, so this is now this is the new log stream that is 99AD. Yeah. So, what, what happened? Okay. So now I will uh, save the second search. <clears throat> so for saving the second search, I will just go over here and click on save, and this will be our search two saved. Okay, now let me just click on open. Okay, sir. So guys, what happened? Instead, there was a problem. Uh, it got overridden. So let's keep this as search to itself. And now I will click on new. 
so whenever you have to save a new search you have, will have to click on new and when you click on new you will have to add the columns columns once again so i have added long group long stream and message so three columns are added once again okay now i will take you back to my notepad so i will just run the first query once again that is that would be the filter so let's go add filter i get query dsl over here i will just add it save it okay so as you can see the filter is added it will refresh in a few minutes okay so now we have it i will go ahead and save this named as search one see so now guys as you can see we have two searches so let's okay this got saved now go to the left side of the panel and on the left side of the panel just click on dashboard so when i click on dashboard i will click on create new dashboard in create new dashboard in over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add an existing or new object so over here i'm going to click on add an existing and guys you can see search one and search two is present over here so i will add search one and it will add the search one over here now i will click on search two this will add search two also and i will close this so now i will just drag this over here and for this one So guys, as you can see, these are two different log groups. So now what I have done right now, I have done bifurcation based on the log stream. But in your scenario, when you will be having multiple log groups and you would have to create a dashboard for multiple log groups, at that time, what you can do is you can go to the filter and over here in filter, instead of add the rate uh, log stream, you will select add the rate log group. And based on that, you you will give different different log group names. So that is a that is how you can bifurcate different different log groups. So now, as you can see, it is done. I will just go ahead and save it. And the description would be demo first dashboard okay. and i will save this so guys as you can see our dashboard is created successfully now let's move on to the next part and what is the next part now we are going to create a visualization so for going for creating a visualization i will click on the left side panel and i will click on visualize when i click on visualize it will give this screen where I will add create new visualization. Now over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select line filter. And over here, it will say, it will ask you for the search that you have saved. So for which search you have to show the graph. So I will just click on the search one. And it will take some time to load. So guys, I will just come one step back to visualize. I will again click on create new visualization in this line and I will click on star. That is our index. Okay. Now on the right hand side in the bucket, I will click on add. X axis and X axis. I will add the aggregation as date histogram. So when I click on add aggregation date histogram, I will just click on minutes. And once I click on minutes, I will just go ahead and click on update. 
and guys as you can see now you are able to visualize your data table based on the visualization feature that you have now as you have created the visualization you can just go ahead and save it visualize now whenever i will go to visualize again it is going to ask me if i want to open the visualization once again okay so that that's it for this tutorial guys so in this tutorial what we have seen we have seen how we can create visualization how we can create dashboard and how we can uh, create searches and save that searches so that search can be utilized in the dashboard as well as in visualization so thank you for joining the session guys good day